Oh boy, phone booth stuffing, what a fantastic idea. Let's cram as many people as possible into a tiny phone booth, risking injury and suffocation just for the sake of a silly photo op. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, it's true. The phone booth stuffing was a fad that took the world by storm in the late 1950s because apparently there was nothing better to do than squeeze ourselves into a cramped space like sardines in a can. Phone booth stuffing, also known as phone booth cramming or phone booth packing, was a popular fad that swept across the world in the late 1950s. The objective was simple, to cram as many people as possible into a phone booth and take a picture of the ridiculous scene. While it may seem like a harmless and silly activity, the phone booth stuffing had a significant impact on society and culture at the time. Who needs personal space and comfort, right? Let's all just pile on top of each other, gasping for air and hoping not to break a bone or two in the process. I mean, why bother with actual acts of rebellion or activism when you can just cram yourself into a phone booth and call it a day? Phone booth stuffing was not without controversy, however. Many people condemned the activity as dangerous and even potentially deadly. Some phone booths were so tightly packed that individuals were unable to breathe properly or move their limbs, putting them at risk of suffocation or injury. In one extreme case, a group of teenagers in Liverpool, England, broke a phone booth by stuffing in more than 40 people. Despite the risks, phone booth stuffing continued to gain popularity, with many seeing it as a way to rebel against societal norms and expectations. It was also seen as a way to bring people together and have a good time. The activity was particularly appealing to young people, who were looking for ways to break free from the conservative values of their parents and grandparents. And who cares about the potential harm to the phone booth itself? Let's just break it because we can. Who cares about the consequences of our actions when we're having such a good time being rebels without a cause? The popularity of phone booth stuffing eventually began to wane in the early 1960s. Many phone companies removed phone booths from public areas, making it more difficult for people to participate in the fad. Additionally, the dangers of the activity were becoming more widely recognized, leading to increased scrutiny and condemnation. In conclusion, the phone booth stuffing was a brilliant idea that we should all definitely try again. Because who needs personal space, comfort and safety when we can rebel against societal norms and expectations in the most ridiculous way possible? Let's just hope we don't end up in the hospital with a broken bone or two. But hey, at least we'll have a silly photo to show for it, right? Thanks for watching.